previous coup d'etat attempt by the rally Zoku which occurred in Izu Shuzenji was ended by the street Zoku and peace returned to the streets. But a new force has risen, creating turmoil in the region. It's a group armed with power on all four wheels, a group known as the Evo Empire. Originally, this four-wheel drive gang never wandered on paved roads, but from the late 90s, the Evo Empire began their invasion and became rulers of the racing world in no time. However, there remains one sacred ground which the Empire has yet to conquer, a place where handling as well as speed is required for a car to rule, the toge. And now the four-wheel drive Evo Empire has brought their ultimate machines to invade the toge. To defend against this invasion, the street Zoku and the rally Zoku have formed an alliance. The Devil of Toge, the Evo Empire strikes back. Here we are at the Devil's Toge, it's Chia-san. Boy, do we have a race prepared for you this time. Yeah, yeah, but you always cheat. No, no, this time it's amazing. Rumor has it that four-wheel drives are everywhere. Yeah, they're up to their ears in mud. Yeah, the four-wheel drives are at the toge, especially ones with tight corners. I hear that the Lancers and Emprezas are really fast. And you know, I also hear that a monster lives in the toge. Yeah, right. I'm serious, you should watch yourself. Alright, I'd like to see this monster. <laughs> <laughs> really? Watch out, here. Here she comes. Boy, this one's a cutie. Here she comes. Hi, it's Chia-san. This cute little thing is Miss Rima Aoyagi, and ain't she sexy? I was told by the toge monster himself to capture Tsuchiya-san's heart. <laughs> Take my sexy beam! <laughs> okay, let's get started with the battle between the two-wheel and four-wheel drives. The battle will take place on a closed toge with very tight corners in the middle section. Total length of the course, about 1.5 kilometers. Battle rules, a run and chase method going up and downhill, just like the initial D. A tail to nose battle without any guardrails. The top contender for the Evo Empire is the stock Impreza WRX STI. Although this is a car that can be bought from a dealer in Japan, it's already armed with various tuning parts. From the two-wheel drive team, Dori Dori has brought his own Hachiroku for the dogfight. Here we are, to start the Devil's Toge battle. Ow! Yeah! What the heck? A four-wheel drive stock impressive. Don't you have any pride, man, bringing a car like that against a Hachi Well, I just wanted to ensure my victory. Hey, don't bet your luck on a stock 280 horsepower job. I know it took you a long time to set up this Hachiroku over the years, but I couldn't resist kicking its butt using this normal stock ride. <laughs> hey, you're starting to tick me off. Think of it this way, a stock Impreza is more than enough to race against the Hachiroku. And here we go! Morito's going easy with the gas from the start. The high power Impreza is locked onto the Hachiroku's rear. The corners get tighter from here. Looks like Shia-san is pretty determined. You betcha! Dori Dori's serious against that four-wheel drive. He's waiting for the right moment in the tight corner section. Got you now! Into a long bending corner and Orito struggling with understeering. In the tight corner section, Orito's thrown off rhythm by Dory Dory's fast pace and pays for it with understeering. Oh no, I'm losing him! Come 
might come back on the straight. Oh, I have really oh, lost him. And uh, Hachiroku takes the uphill duel. The downhill is going to be tough on this long straight. I'll take it easy up to the start. Wow, that thing's boogieing. Morito's turtle start works as he leaves the Hachiroka behind. Dang, he's fast. But then the Impreza has a difficult time carrying speed into this long curve. And Orito's lost the advantage he had at the start. Okay, now we're booking. Downhill hairpin, Orito takes it tight using the parking brake. From here, it'll be a contest of acceleration. Tsuchiya's Hachiroku locks on and beats the Impreza. Oh, darn it! And the Hachiroku takes the downhill too. You see, an expensive car is not necessarily fast on the Togays. Yeah, yeah, I guess normal stock rides aren't cut out for this. I mean, the corners were really tough for me. I couldn't step on the gas at all. Maybe the stock tires aren't so good. Well, that's okay. two victories. And that's two for you. The Monster Mash! Oh. <laughs> to recover from this unexpected loss, the Evo Empire brings in a tuned machine, the Boss Lancer Evo 7. Although still under development, this machine easily wears the 255 width tires and is equipped with high-tech ACD and AYC systems. Taking on the second challenger, the two-wheel drive team brings in the Amuse S2000. It's armed with the usual high-tech body parts, slimming off more than 100 keys without taking out the air conditioner. Although there might be a difference of more than 100 horses with the enemy, it'll go for the win with high-speed cornering as its main weapon. This battle is a bit difficult to predict. This is going to be interesting, and you know, anything can happen on the toge. Yeah, let's see. Frankly, I'm a bit worried about this one. But it's all about winning. Here we go, battle number two. Now use the turtle start again. The corners are going to be the key. And once again, Orito uses the turtle start and leaves the S2000 behind. The Lancer is looking good with quick entry speed into the corner. Tsuchiya might be behind the eight ball on this one. Alrighty. Woo! Uh oh, my revolutions have dropped. Tsuchiya knows full well he's got to catch up in this section and he's pushing it. Watch out! I'm on you, Junior! Boy, turbos are fast going uphill. Uh-oh, he's whooping me on this straight. No sweat. None indeed, Ordito's Lancer takes the uphill. I have to start well within my torque range. Morito lining up to cut off Dory Dory's best cornering line. I think he's ticked off Dory Dory there. I'll get away in the infield. It's become a serious mano a mano contest. Tsuchiya's S2000 leading into the hairpin. Can the high tech four wheel drive catch him? That 
Mazda S2000 is looking fine. Yeah! And it rules the downhill. That was easy. Hey, I won the uphill. Come on, all you can do is go fast on the straights. Straights are part of the tow gear too. I'll give you a gift horse. It was easy going after the Lancer in the infield. It just shows that a perfectly tuned rear wheel drive machine is quick anywhere. This Lancer is still under development, you see. Once the settings are perfect, it'll be unstoppable. Nah, I think four wheel drive should stick to playing in the mud. No, no, that's not true. Four-wheel drive could do togas. Looking from behind the infield, what in the heck were you doing? All you did was go like a rocket on the straights. What's the enjoyment of coming to the togas if you only drive like an idiot? Yeah, it's fun in a way. The S2000 was going sideways and everywhere, and you look really cool. The Evo Empire has no choice now but to bring on its ultimate weapon. Machine that is actually running in the All Japan Gym Kana tournament, an Impreza from Advan Garage Kameda, a specially made monster with a body that's been widened by 100 millimeters. Everything except for the main monocoque has been modified to shed weight. Dori Dori takes it for a spin. Steering is weird. The steering position is a bit too high for Dory Dory. I can't see a darn thing with this glare. Sorry folks, we weren't able to record any comments this time, but it's apparent the car looks good and seems really fast. Wheel drive forces now bring in the S15 Silvia, an all Japan rally machine from Brig Omega CSP. The owner of CSP, Matsumoto san, has tons of experience on the WRC circuit and modified this S15 based on his know how. Yo, what's that grin on your face? Come on, listen to the tunes of this exhaust and take a look at these flared fenders. Has anyone ever told you like common sense bring a monster like that here? Hey, anything can happen on the toge, a race car against a race car. Morito starts ahead and the battle is on. Morito-kun, it takes more than muscle and power to rule these winding roads. I'll show that overall balance is the key to winning. Acceleration appears even Steven. Rito's Impreza looks like it needs some getting used to. How's he going to jet through the low-speed corners? Rito's Impreza is on the get-go. drives are fast at the corner exits. This one's mine. The impressive Impreza wins it. I'll give him the straights, but the corners are all mine. Because of the close gear ratio, the Impreza loses some ground at Tsuchiya's S15. Tsuchiya, again determined and intense. No words coming from him now. Barrito's Impreza is closing in on the downhill corner. Appears this hairpin will determine the outcome of the duel. Dang it, he's got my butt. 
and the Impreza locks on. No doubt Impreza victorious. Okay, you were fast. Yeah, when you build a racing car with four-wheel drive, yeah. it's going to be fast. The handling's a bit tricky with this car. But the cornering speeds were very stable with good traction.